Thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to share with you how I made this adorable punch cheerleaders. I've had a lot of response um, from the picture that I posted and I appreciate that and I've been asked if I would show and share how I did these. Okay, so to start, I'm using four of the window word punches, one of the one and one four circle punch, I'm using one of the scallop punches, I have one of the small tags. I have um, punched out the smaller of the two in the, um, I'm not really sure what this punch is called. I know that's terrible, but it's like an arrow on both sides. So I have one of those. And then last, I have punched out two sets from the Boho Blossoms punch. Um, and you'll need a set for each pom-pom. So I usually punch it four times. I punch it two in each color. So that's how I get that. And for the hair, um, for the ones that I had shown in the picture, um, I used my Sissix dye that will work at my Big Shot. And this is, um, it's a girl's hair dye. It's called Dress Up Girl. And um, I really like this one. It was cute. It's easy. But I've also done the hair with the punches too. So, but today, for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you what I did in the picture. Okay, so to start, I usually start with my scallop. And all I generally do is I will fold that in half. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to be her skirt and it's going to be flying up anyway. So I usually just fold that in half and I take my, um, my tag punch and I will attach the scallop that I fold in half onto the bottom of the tag punch which makes part of her body. For the arms um, and the legs. I used the four window word punches and I forgot you're going to need one more in the other color that you're using and just punch one of those out. I punched those out for the shoes. So we'll punch that out and for the shoes I basically just fold that in half and then I snip off a little bit at the bottom and I keep those and those get attached onto two of my window word punches. So it looks like shoes. Okay, and um, this is what I use for the head, and I'm just going to pick out one of the hairs for the sake of the video. And I'll just run some glue up there, and I just place the hair on the head where I want it. And then I basically just glue the head onto the top of the tag. And then I usually got to figure out how I want my arms to go. And that's what's so fun about these is that you can pretty much position them any way you want. Each one I did, I made them basically the same. It just came to the arms and the legs I just posed differently. So it again, this is totally up to you and how you want to design it. So for the sake of this one, we'll put our arms up. And then for the legs, the same deal. I apply a little bit of glue and I put them under the skirt. Kind of position them however I want. Like so. Okay, and then using the um, the little triangular, I guess you'll call it. I'm not really sure. i got to find out what the name of this punch is. i got to look in my catalog. Um, but I just put that on the shirt. Like so. Then for her pom-poms, I generally just start alternating. I'll take one of the white, and then I go in with a smaller purple, and then I'll go back in with the next smaller of the Boho Blossom. And So I just alternate the color so that um, they match. I probably should have started if I was going to do it. I probably should have started with the um, the purple. That probably would have looked a lot better. We'll just do that one this way, just to check it out. <clears throat> and then put the white one on, and then the smaller of the 
of the three and that punch goes on. Yeah, that looks much better. And then I basically just put a dab of glue and put her pom-pom on there, like so. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna redo this one. Let's see, I have a, a white and then I just need a small purple for that one. So again, you can just, you know, make this according to the colors that you like or that you want. It's a really quick and simple. Put a dab of glue. And then attach the pom-pom. Like so. And then just to finish it, all I've done is I've taken a magic marker in black. And I just went in and I placed two eyeballs. And I just put a big kind of oval for the mouth to make it look like they're cheering. And that's my cheerleader. Thanks for joining me today, and thanks for all the response I've had to this. Bye.